Hi and welcome everybody. Today's video is coming from the fabulous state of Florida where I'm visiting my sister. Um, right now it's in the 70s and it's absolutely beautiful. It is evening. It is 523. So the sun's starting to go down. Uh, but it's pretty. Anyway, my video today is about six lessons that we learn in life. I think we learn them too late. Um, the very first one that I want to talk about is health. I think we learn in life way too late that health is wealth. We need to take care of ourselves in, in our younger years, and I don't think a lot of us appreciate that in the beginning. Um, I'll give you an example. I my my husband works in the um, in our public schools in Maryland, and you see a lot of these kids smoking and vaping and doing all the things. And there was something that always comes back to me, and I don't know if I'm going to say this correctly or not. But my father used to always tell me, your bad habits won't kill you when you don't care if you live. When you're 20, you're invincible. You don't care whether you're living or whatever. You know, you just assume that you're going to continue to live. My, my thought here is that your bad habits will catch up with you when you really, really have so much to live for and want to stay alive. So we need, you know... I really believe that we, we learn this way too late in life. That health is basically wealth. The second thing that I think that we learn late in life is how to control our environment. And what I mean by that is we can set our environment up around us for success. In that I mean, and I'll go back to um, trying to eat healthy, for example. You can set your environment up to where the only thing you have in your house is healthy things. So when you need to grab something or you want something, the only thing there is healthy stuff. If you want unhealthy stuff, you have to go the extra mile to go out and get it. There's a little chihuahua over here barking. You can probably hear him. Sorry about that. Um, but we can, we can control our environment and we can set it up in a positive way. And I don't think we learn that uh, until later in life. The third one is stay true to yourself. Be yourself. And what I mean by that is, you know, so many of us when we're younger, we want to fit in with everybody. So what we do is we become like this certain group. It's not us. It's not true to us. That's not who we really are. But we want to be friends with them. So we change ourselves to fit in with their group. Now, if we were to be ourselves, I feel like that um, the right people would find us and we would have the group that we fit in. But we learn that too late in life. So the next one is <clears throat> four. Your mind needs rest. Everybody says, you know, your physical body needs rest. Yes, when you're doing physical work, uh, let's say you're um, a construction worker or something like that and you're doing physical work every day nothing wrong with that you know that your body needs rest but then you have the people out there that are constantly let's say they're sitting at a desk coding all day or they're a secretary taking care of things all day they're not doing something physical nothing wrong with that either but they're using their mental they're using their brains and their brains need a rest at the end of the day. In my opinion, going home and um, sitting on your phone is not a break. And what I mean by that is you need to take a break from technology. Your brain is on overload from all the work that you've been doing all day. So take that and maybe go for a walk. Do some exercise. Bake a cake. Bake something. Take a break. Take a mental break. We don't put enough emphasis on the fact that our brains and our mental state need a break as well as our body. Number five, manage your energy, not your time. And what I mean by that is when you have, um, I'm sorry, somebody's walking behind me. Okay, so anyway, um, manage your energy, not your time. You know that certain times of the day you are more energetic. So plan your day around the times that you have the energy. So I'm a morning person. I get up in the morning. I've got things, a list of things I want to do. And as the day goes on, my energy wanes. And by evening, I'm just ready to sit down. Now there are other people who are evening, evening people. Plan your strenuous 
either it's mentally strenuous or physically strenuous, try to plan your day around your energy levels. I think that's important and I think that's something that we don't learn in, in, in any, or, you know, in our early years. The second, or the sixth one, excuse me, and this is important. A good day equals a great life. Life is a series of days and your goal should be to have good, as many good days as possible. Good days equal a good life. Now, everybody measures their days differently. A good day to me would be, you know, get up and have my coffee and be able to just relax for a little bit before I go and, you know, go and do whatever work I'm doing that day and, and just be able to do it in a nice flow. Structure your day as best you can to make, make it a good day. I know that sounds <clears throat> maybe hard because some of us don't like our work and um, some of us are overwhelmed but n like I said good days add up to a good life and you try to build your life so that you have as many days many good days in a row as you can uh, these are things that I don't think people understand about um, life and I don't think they understand it early enough to actually actually use it uh, to their advantage until they get older. These are things that I've come to realize that um, my health is everything. Now, talking about health, at one point I was in great health. Um, not that I'm not okay now, but uh, I used to exercise daily. I went to the gym regularly and I worked out. I had a personal trainer for a while and um, I was really, really kicking butt. I, I felt good all the time. I could jump out of bed, you know, um, but it became unsustainable for me. So there's another video coming up that I wanna talk to you about um, two minute rule. It's a two minute rule. We'll talk about that in the next video, possibly tomorrow. Uh, I think that'll be the video I do tomorrow. Um, but it became overwhelming and I couldn't keep up with it. Now I don't feel as good as I used to. Um, sometimes, like I've said before in some of my videos, I look back in pre-2020, well even 2020 wasn't terrible, and I miss that person, I miss that body, I miss the dark hair sometimes. Now I, I'm, I'm embracing the gray and I love my gray. Airplane going by. But um, many times you don't, let me back up here. I've embraced the gray, yes, but I still miss it, miss the brown hair sometimes. But what I was saying is, plain got me off my game here. Um, I used to be able to run, I used to be able to get up and go, and now, um, the other day I flew in to Florida to visit my sister, and after the plane ride, and all the walking, and the different things, I was stiff and achy, and this is something that I hadn't really experienced too much before. So I'm gonna try to go back to exercising more. Now I'm not gonna go back to um, the full on trainer and all that, but I am gonna start exercising more and trying to take better care of myself because I feel like that really did help. Um, and I'm gonna get better control of my environment. But these are the things that I wanted to share with you and this is um, my thoughts on things that we learn too late in life. And um, tomorrow I'm gonna share with you my two minute rule and I hope you will join me. You guys have a great evening and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.